What you are looking at is not a $475 product, but a simple keyboard which costs less than $50. And you can do this with any keyboard that has a wheel like this. Or you can use your mouse wheel to do the same. Both of which I'm gonna show you in this video. I have been using this wheel on my last 4 or 5 projects and it made my workflow way faster. I primarily use this to cut down long footages and honestly I have never had so much fun while using the cut page. Which by the way is the main reason why the speed editor was made for the cut page. So now let me explain how you can make any keyboard that has a wheel like this into a jog wheel. So the normal behavior of this wheel is increasing or decreasing the volume and it does it using the volume up and volume down key from the keyboard. So if you remap those two keys it will automatically change the behavior of this wheel. So to remap those keys I'm gonna use Microsoft official app Power Toys which has a keyboard manager. So open the input and output and select keyboard manager. And from here click on remap a key. Then from here add a key remapping and from this drop down select the volume up key. Or you can click on this select and then press that volume up key which is on my keyboard is holding the function key and then pressing F12. Then it will register the volume up key. And now we want to remap the volume up key with right arrow key. So click on select and then press the right arrow key. Now I'm gonna do the same by remapping the volume down key with the left arrow key. Once you're done, click on OK and continue anyway. Now the wheel is ready to use. But one last thing you should check. In DaVinci Resolve Keyboard Manager, make sure the left and right arrow keys is set to frame forward and frame reverse. Once that's taken care of, now you can spin the wheel and it will move the playhead accordingly. It, it's just so great like using the wheel. I know it's not as good as the speed editor's wheel but this still works great like I love this a lot. And by the way you are not limited to resolve. You can also move your cursor in a document to make precise selection by holding the shift key and then rolling the wheel. It's just lot fun using the wheel because it gives you lot more control. You can move frame by frame very precisely which is really hard to do with the mouse. Now if you don't have a keyboard with a wheel you can also use your mouse wheel to do the same. Now to remap the mouse wheel I wrote this simple auto hotkey script that sends the left arrow key when you scroll up and the right arrow key when you scroll down. You can see when I move it up the playhead goes the left side and when I scroll down it goes right. Now you might be thinking how I use my cursor when I'm using my mouse like this. Well I don't. So for last 3 months I have been using a graphic tab instead of a mouse which boosts my productivity in editing quite a lot. If you want to know my experience you can watch this video on screen or click on the link in the description and thanks for watching.